Hello! Welcome to the Olympus server. More Olympus here. We are joined with some Endermen. I've been doing a lot of grinding here at the Enderman farm. I did some the other night, and I'm just back here again today to do some more. Reason being, well, a few things. One, I died. Yes, I died. Doing great work, I tell you. But I lost everything, because I died in lava. <laughs> I enderpearled. Actually, I, you know, occasionally when you enderpearl and you get, if you get lagged out, you get like a double throw. Well, I had that kind of thing, and one of my like, first throw hit good and landed where I wanted. The second throw actually threw me into lava, and I wasn't quite sure exactly where I was. So I had a hard time trying to get out of there. I threw another end of pearl, which just ended up into some more lava. And then burnt up and died, and everything disappeared. In the process, I lost a couple of the dock picks, or the uh, dwarf picks, so i got to repair them. And I'm just trying to get some new Efficiency 4 Unbreaking 3 picks to start with. And, well, that's okay. As this is usually what I do, and then I add on a eff Efficiency 4 book to it. And then I, that brings me to the Efficiency 5 picks. So that is what I'm doing. I also had to recreate my gear. Unfortunately, I don't have any more chains, so I couldn't do that. But I did replace these guys and also my boots. So they are now dubbed two. I don't remember what we named the other one. Was it the same thing? I don't recall, so I didn't put a two on that one. And I also got to figure out which... Oop, hey, Shane. Which dwarf picks I lost. I'm really bad at figuring out the names. Like, I can have all these picks in front of me. Like, Sleepy, Doc, Bashful. One of them is Dopey, I know for sure. The other one I have no idea. There's Sleepy, I've got Happy, I've got Sneezy still. So that's pretty much five of them. Bashful, Sleepy, Sneezy... Ah, yeah, I just... That's the other thing I'm here for, is I'm going to name a bunch more uh, Meryl's Meat, get that all ready to go. That's the one I'm using. And, yeah. But, uh, stock up the store again. And that should cover it. I shouldn't have to stock it up again for a little while. Anyway, I will meet you guys back, hopefully at the tower, when I'm all done with this. Alright, we're back at the tower. And, um, what chest am I currently in? Okay, that's that chest. I have one more pick to do. I need to verify which pick I am missing. And some of these numbers I don't think are right anymore, but we'll keep trying to do them whenever we do know. Okay, so we got we have six out of the seven dwarfs. I think I figured out which one is missing, and yeah, it is Grumpy. So it looks like Grumpy has died at least once, so our last one was Grumpy 2, which means this guy will be Grumpy 3. And then we'll have all seven dwarfs back in business. Uh, Grumpy. Oops. Peak. So one died, two died, so this is three. And I'm pretty sure this guy's named wrong. Oh no, he's Dopey 3. I think that's right. He might even be supposed to be Dopey 4. Uh, I think we should get a proper board going, actually. Uh, we might keep it down here for now. Where's my axe? I have an axe. I have to remake an axe. I have to remake everything, guys. I have to remake my bow. Um, <laughs> shovel. Silk touch. Fortune. Uh, but I know I have an axe. And I... Whoops. I hit the mic. I'm sorry. And I put it somewhere. So that it would be safe. Because I didn't need it at the time. But I have no idea where that somewhere was. Volumes are way too low. So it might be up top, I guess. Okay, well, anyway. Why did I want the axe? I guess to tear down these signs. Just to do it by hand. I would have had them torn down if I hadn't spent all that time looking for the pick. Slash axe. Okay, let's use this space. As... Yeah. And we'll need seven signs. So let's see if there's any more. There are plenty. 
And I'm just going to write down the names of the current pick levels. And then from there, I can, anytime one breaks, I'll try to remember to update the name. And then we can keep track of it better. There we go. Got all seven up there. According to this, this is still our original dock pick. I don't know how true that is. If any of you remember me breaking it. Anyway, I only need to have one of these on me. Oops. That's not where those go. I have to put them down at the bottom. All in a line. No, nope. that's not right. Heavy. Yes. There we go. All right. I've still got to... I just got back from the end, so... Um, i got to go drop off all this marrow meat at the shops. But I'll show you what I've been working on. Uh, the last two episodes were recorded kind of on the weekends. And it's now midweek, I guess. And I've been working. But um, I haven't recorded anything. <laughs> I was just kind of hopping on when I wasn't really feeling all that into it to like record or anything like that. And I just... Um, just dug. So I'm going to show you what I've done. Um, I don't think I've changed anything here. I've slowly been collecting the lava out. So there used to be lava there. It's now gone. I put down some more ice. And we got all this nice um, stuff on the ground. The mycelium, and it's stretched around, and I think it looks good. Can I get up there? Yeah, and this is where I died, guys. It was somewhere in there. I enderpearled once, landed on there, the other enderpearl went low and sent me to lava. So yeah, the mycelium now goes, I think it went all the way around. It's now spread. I've I've expanded some of the areas. Uh, but the main thing I did was down there, which you can kind of see. So I was trying to get that conish look going. And I'd done this front face. And I had mentioned that I couldn't really tell what it looked like because it was so dark. And this one was still flat, and the other side was still semi-flat. But now I've kind of got the effect, I think. And I'm fairly happy with it. It's a decent amount of digging. Uh, and all I did was I just basically worked my way down and carved it as I did it. So, that side you saw already. Um, I did modify this side when I came around from... The opposite side over there and I did and I've modified this side a bit too um, so you can kind of see it it's kind of shadowy <laughs> um, overall it looks pretty good I got rid of a lot of the vines um, I've got rid of all of them I do want to add in vines but the problem is they're gonna grow really really long so unless I use like string or something to stop them from growing uh, that might be trouble <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, we could grab a potion, actually, if I can get back out of here. I can never gauge distance that well here. Yeah, that's going all the way down, isn't it? Yep. Let me get back up. I'm just going to go through here. This now opens up. Oh, there's some stuff. Every once in a while I find random locks. Either that maybe disappeared with the glitch, or maybe I just did dig out. <laughs> Maybe I overlooked them. But yeah, this goes right into our little smelter here. And actually, the other side walks right outside the other one. So as you can see, that goes straight out. Is this thing still... Yep. That would explain the framage. Woo! I'm going to go grab a potion, actually, of night vision. Because that will allow us to see everything. How you doing, Wish Farm? Still working? Very good then. Oh. And eventually I want to dig out all this now. Um, everything I think within the the area of the tower. We'll have to see how how that goes. I think I might drill some holes. Uh, maybe if I look in the right chest, I will find the potion I'm looking for. Bring a couple, just in case. But yeah, let's go take a look. With this, uh, we'll be able to see. See the shape of it all, and don't have to worry about the shadows. You do get like a weird void fog. Actually, let's go all the way down. I thought this got rid of void fog, but it, I don't think it actually does. 
like you don't see it here but that's because we're in the sun and I've, if I actually go over here which I noticed when I was digging it out because I decided it would be a smart idea to use a night vision potion while working at the void but it just makes the void white and there's our zombie still trapped so yeah I thought I got rid of it but apparently not anyway let's go somewhere we can see Mm. Nope, we're still in the void. It's because of the tree farm. I think I'm going to get rid of that soon and make it either a temporary one up top or figure out where I want to actually have the the final one. All right. But anyway, there she be, the tower, floating. Well, sort of floating. What I'm probably going to do, I'm going to wait before I level out the bottom. We might make it so this thing is floating. Probably. For now, I'm going to leave the centerpiece in until I've got this thing dug out all the way around. And you guys got to tell me if you want to... Like, I did all this off-camera. Um, I mean, I could try to do time lapses. I could see how that turns out. Or I could keep you guys live with me for part of it. You guys let me know what you want to do. I think I'm getting better at carving. Now, this kind of looks weird now that I'm looking at it, but I've, I've started to try to shape it instead of just randomly digging out like I was doing on the outer one. So kind of purposely creating curves and stuff while I'm digging it out. And if you want to see that, we could... I mean, I still got more to do on that side. So we got over half kind of done, except for this wall. And then, yeah. So there's still about... Hmm... Yeah, about half of this thing that still needs to be done. Not really half, but somewhere around there. So if you guys think that you would enjoy seeing that. Occasionally I work on I did work on this in a stream. But if you guys would like to see it in an episode, just let me know. And we could try. Or I could try doing some more time lapses of it. And see how that goes. The best way I could think of is to find a common spot and just take a shot every once in a while of the progress. And then over time, it'll look, it'll show you kind of the thing being carved out. So I could try doing that. I just got to figure out a, a good spot to do it from and make sure I can get the same shot every time. All right. I think that's about it for this. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way it looks overall. This is starting to get the look that I'm kind of, I've got in my head. So that is good. Hey, fancy's here. Hey, Fancy. We have to think of a horrible nickname for him. But yeah, go check out his channel. He's got a couple episodes out already. And probably another... He'll probably have more out by the time that this video airs as well. So he's in the description below if you're not already subscribed. Go check him out. He's a, yeah, he's a, he's a builder. So he's really good at building. So he should be able to be making some interesting pretty things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gone. He's back. Yeah, I really like it. I think that's... It's hard to tell what it was going to look like before I could really get more than one side done, and now I feel like it's... It's got the effect. It's looking good. So what I gotta do is... Ah, uh, still carve out that. I also want to un... Circle a fire. Um, the perimeter a bit too, maybe while I'm going. So instead of having like a circle, like basically the water is going to be flowing in almost at a perfect circle. So we could change that by making some irregular shapes. Like we already did one there, but we could make, like I'm thinking right here where that curve down is, we could maybe carve into that too. And then that'll change the shape of the perimeter. So it's not completely circular and give it a bit more organic feel. Kind of like what I did with the island there. I kind of just randomized as I was doing it. And if I could go back, that's how I would have laid out the circle. I would have made a circle and then I probably would have just randomly changed things of it to make it irregular. But I hadn't actually at that point planned on doing this cliff work and all that stuff. So if you could go back and do it all over again do it way more efficiently. Yeah, I, I'm going to take a cut here 
as I need to take a break. But when we come back, I think we're going to start working on that uh, window for the tower. Fully stocked. Sort of. And I swear, this door is always open. I know I closed it last time. I know it. Someone's messing with me. I know it. I find out who you are. Whee! All right, so... The missing iron. The case of the missing iron. What I believe happened. And I have been able to confirm it, but after I recorded the last episode, I kind of went into a creative world and tried to... Uh, make it happen. And I couldn't. But... There was one time when we came down here, and I can't remember if I was recording or not, but there was a bunch of dirt lying on the on the roof of the witch hut here. And then not too long ago, there was some arrows just lying there, like a stack of them. So I think it is a case of like the stuff uh, keeping a chunk loaded and allowing. Um, some of this machine to keep doing its thing. I'm not very good with the whole loaded chunks and all that stuff. But I think, like, redstone can operate. It's not like a fully loaded chunk. I think it's like a partially loaded chunk or something. Um, but items do not get dispensed into the world. Or they don't exist. They're unloaded, I guess. But I think they can still be dispensed. Like, this thing could be running and trying to dispense items. And even if I leave the area or something like that, during some phase of this, this thing's still able to keep going. And is dispensing items into nothingness. So then I don't know, I think, I don't know how it handles, because this thing detects how many items are in the dispenser. So I don't know if it's going to eventually stop and say, okay, I've dispensed all the items. And then those items will just be in a state of limbo. But then after this has completed its thing, that piston goes back up. So there's no longer like an airspace for the items to go into. So then when the when you come back into the world, I think those items or when I get when I load this area, I think those items are basically just saying, okay, we're being dispensed out of the dispenser. And because the piston thing is closed, they just explode out the side. And that's what I think happened for all those items that were on the ground. That's my theory. I haven't been able to recreate it, though. So, but yeah. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, I did put up this kind of thing just in case, I guess. There is one safety measure. And I've hooked it up to a little bell. So that um, as soon as any item gets put into here, this thing's going to start going off. So this chest is hooked up to this line of hoppers. And just looking at these. Are these different in single player? Single player, they're nice and smooth and very fancy looking. Here they're moving like... They're barely animated at all. But I know, I was just testing in a... I was testing this stuff out in a test world where I have some beacons, and they look way better. So yeah, maybe they're different on SMP for some reason. You wouldn't think that would be handled server-side, the rotation of... Anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, so if that does happen, I think this is positioned in such a manner that those items will come and get trapped in here at least and then fall down. I might need to lower this a bit more, but we'll see. Um, so if it ever does it again, and I just got to be sure maybe when I come back to this area, if I'm if I'm leaving it, that I should first check in here to see if there's any items exploded. But um, anyway, uh, that is what I think has happened there. But yeah, I can't, um, I don't know. I've been able to keep a chunk in the test world open. I haven't been able to keep one open using redstone or anything. So I'm doing something wrong. All right. What we're going to work on today 
uh, for the rest of the episode, which we ate up some of it, most of it. But for the last little bit here, hopefully I can just do some magic stuff. But uh, yeah, I want to get this um, sorted, or I want to figure out what we want to do for here. So what I'm going to do, I think, is build a frame, or wire frame, um, from a certain point. I guess I'll go all the way up. I'm going to use dirt. <laughs> go figure. Uh, what this dirt is going to do... Shush! Um, it's just giving me an idea of the shape of this thing. So I'm going to use point of reference one block behind where the current wall would be if we choose to just go straight up with these. So this would be something else. And in some cases it might end up being logs anyway, but otherwise it'll remain dirt probably for the time being. If if I end up putting stairs in front of it, as then I don't want any light to bleed through them, so I'll probably have the the dirt as a backing. But anyway, let me um, just do this. I'll probably skip that one and maybe just go to here or something. Now nah, I'll just go I'll go all the way over here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I got that in place. Next I'm getting rid of this because I don't know when I place that there, what it means, what I was thinking. So uh, I just want to get rid of it so we can start a clean slate. So yeah, I've got these placeholder dirt things, which gives the general idea of the shape that this tower is in. So now, uh-oh, now i got to make that thing come back. Do it. You can do it. Ah, got it. Another one? Another one? Yeah. 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 Let's nice try. Ooh. Is there another one? Do we get them all? We got them. All right. Yeah. All right. Next, I'm going to build out. I don't think I have a catch up here. No, I do not. But yeah, I'm going to build out and give us a nice view of this thing. And then we can start planning. All right, we got a little perch here. Nothing fancy. I'll probably improve it with more dirt and a bigger backboard. And, <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's what we got. Um, this kind of already started, but this could change. So I don't think it is anywhere else other than right here at the moment. So this is a lot of ribs. I don't know if I like that. I think we used it over on the other side. I think that's a replication of the other side up to here. And that's where the old arch starts. But yeah, now what I'm thinking is part of this is going to come out rectangular. Almost. So what I'm envisioning is a rectangle like here, I guess, up to, well, let's say that's the roof. So up to here. So let's say that part would be jetting out. And we'll probably keep the jetting out going higher to the next floor as well. And then I wanted kind of a triangular base to it. So from the center point, now, I was going to try to work that into the stairs, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Let's say that is our center. A jump boost too here? Yeah. Let's see here. And what if we start... Sure, what if we start here? And I think it'll go up... I don't know if I want it to go up a 45 degree angle, but I think we'll start with a 45 degree angle. Let's see where that takes us. And I'm going to jet this out, I guess I said, didn't I? Yeah. So what I'll do is bring that forward, I guess. The actual shape. And I could take it to there. Which could work. So when that gets here, this jets out even further than it already is. Alright, so I'll double this up. And I'll... Or I should almost even take it out. Is that enough? It's only like an extra block. Hmm. 
We'll see. I might want to... Um, I don't need to go that high. I might want to change that. Bring it further forward. Okay, so now we want to add in windows. And I kind of have an idea actually already. Or where we could try to hide them. Not hide, but place. I'm going to use mainly, I think, iron bars for any of the windows here. I don't think there's going to be any glass. So it'd either be iron bars or just wide open. Okay, that's kind of hard to see, and I don't think I like it, actually. There I go, busting rhymes again. No? No, okay. Yeah, I think that needs to be wider. So I think what I'm going to do is do less of an angle and bring it out to that guy instead. Or maybe even bring it in by one. Yeah. So one moment, and I'll use some stone to further identify it. <laughs> Such a weird view from up here. It's just like, <laughs> that half is done, this half not so much. I think I'm going to try to wipe out this whole area, maybe, in one blast if I can. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Well, yeah, I think that'd be fun to try to do. Okay. That should give us a better idea, maybe? Hmm. Still not that far out. But a better idea. Um, that might be okay. Might widen it more, I might not. But yeah, windows, windows, windows. Yeah, I was going to try to incorporate the, the angle of the stair into maybe like the angle of this. But clearly it's not really doable unless I... No, it's really not doable. <laughs> not doable at all. But yeah. Uh, let me uh, play around with this. So this general shape. So yeah, windows I think we're going to have maybe like three very long windows here. At least up to the roof. So maybe we'll have some kind of ledge right there. Which pretty much lines up with that floor, it looks like, or very close. And then I'm thinking we'll probably have some really tall windows along here. Maybe only like a block wide or two blocks wide. I'm not too sure. And I think we'll layer it quite a bit too. So this might be like a three thick wall. Just so we can give some more detail to it. But yeah, let me work a bit off camera here and see what I can get done. And I'll bring it back, hopefully, after the rain has stopped. We haven't slept away the rain. That's okay. Alright, I just added in some stone ribs, or just some framing, to try to get a good idea of the shape and how far out to bring it. So I think that's probably adequate. So I brought out a couple more blocks than I originally had. So I felt that wasn't quite enough. Or it's too subtle to even notice the shape change on the scale of this thing. I mean, considering how big it is, just to bring it out a block or two doesn't really show. But this is coming out now, I think about four blocks out. So I think it will have some distinguishable shape. And maybe I could even bring it out a bit further. I'll see. But I did notice the episode is running long. Oop. And I converted this guy into a proper pearl catcher, sort of, almost. It's like I neglected some things. Must make perfect. Perfect! So yeah, I'm going to try to wrap it up with um, some progress. So let's get some progress done. You guys have to go, though, for that to happen. Some more lines. I threw up a few more lines. Nice weather. So yeah, these are basically just straight off the frame. The original frame. I brought that out quite a bit more. I don't know if I brought it out too much now. Uh, maybe. I think I should take it back two blocks, maybe. Well, I think that's what I just added on. Yeah, I think I'll take it back to... 
That's jetting out a bit too much for my liking. But I've seen too short and I see too long. Okay, so I'm going to trim that back, reframe it, and then I'll start maybe doing some detail work and see what we can get this thing looking like and figure out where to put the windows. Progress has been made. Sort of, maybe, hopefully. It's actually a couple days later since the last clip. Took some time off and played with this a bit. Uh, it's not done by any means, but um, it's at the point where I'm okay with showing the progress. Plus, I want to get this video out for tomorrow. So it's currently Friday that I'm recording this, but most of the episode was recorded on Wednesday. So I'm trying to finalize it. I just need this last clip here, and we can send it on out. Yeah, um, it's kind of what I got going. It might be hard to tell anything, really. Let's see if we can get a good view of this thing. And I don't know about the patterns. I'm kind of basically trying out some new patterns without um, changing, the, hopefully, the overall look of this thing by too much. I don't know about these. I've been starting to throw some buttons in. Uh, the amount of wood exposure is getting larger on the upper part compared to the lower part. We'll see if we like that. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this platform here for the time being, just to get a decent look at this thing. And maybe we can get a, a look at it from down below and see what we think of it. Or if we got to scrap it, start all over. But yeah, this will probably be something that might take a while, because I am just kind of building it here in survival. So we haven't pre-planned any of this. So we got to figure it out on the fly. See what we like and what we don't like. Uh, which might mean building it a few times and tearing it down until we find something we like. That's okay. Okay. I like it. Um, can't really tell. So there's one window in place so far. I was going to see about maybe leaving that gap as is. Um, I'll probably have to add this part in here as well to go around. I'm not sure. This is kind of like a mirror image down the middle here. So that's the same as that. It kind of gives that a bit of a curve, I think. Let's go down low. Problem is if we go down, we're probably not going to get back up here. That's okay. Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that at all. Let's see. How can we get a good view of this thing? I almost need like a perch out here. Or a boat. Can I make a boat? Let's make a boat. And we'll sail around, taking a look as best as we can. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. Craft you into you and don't have jump boost. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Let's just make a boat underwater. There we go. Yoink. And we'll pick you back up. Oh, I made a new axe. Or it was the same axe. I depleted it until it was almost broken. Then I combined it with the Silk Touch pick. So now it's a decent Silk Touch unbreaking efficiency 4. And yeah. So I chopped down a lot of wood. I think that's too narrow, the window, that, or the part that sticks out. <laughs> As I take down all these lily pads. Man, man, I should have made more than one boat. Hard to tell with that thing in our way, but um, on the scale of it, it feels like that's really narrow. So I'm thinking it should almost come out to where that other window is, maybe. Hmm... Kind of what I'm thinking. Looks a bit narrow to me. If I only had Optifine, we could zoom in. Hmm. But yeah, I think that is too narrow. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the window here, or with the part that jets out. And I feel like that is way too narrow for the scale of this. It looks really tiny. So I think if we wind it a bit more, it would look better. But it might just be because of... Hmm, let me see here. So that's the edge. Or is that the edge? That's the edge. Yeah, maybe another block or two wider would probably be better. But anyway, um, we're going to leave it here. 
and oops, I took a screenshot. I will leave you with this, and you guys let me know what you think, and yeah, we'll see you in the next episode.